house church today it's Sunday and I'm so excited with what I want to share with you this week I was reading about time stealers and how there are people in our lives and things we do like addictions or habits or whatever we have that can steal so much of our time and our energy and it can be either spiritually or physically or emotionally and I was thinking about my own life, the top of the year here, and also this new decade and the new year, and how to adjust and hopefully better um, serve my own life and, and serve humanity in a more positive way. So I was trying to find scripture that might have something to do with that. And so I was reading where Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, he was talking uh, about how people um, can waste your time and how they can uh, also cause you to, you know, get in trouble in ways. And the scripture that came to me was in chapter 7 of Matthew. In verse 6, it says, Jesus says this, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot, and turn again and tear you to pieces, basically. And I don't know about you, but I've had lots of people steal so much of my energy, so much of my time, and so much of my goodness, and then uh, betray me in the, pro in the process. And I think we need to be careful of that um, as we start out this new year and how we let social media, how we let uh, so much access to the news and so much access to all kinds of things take our goodness from us and take our essence away. Uh, I personally was um, calling through some of my emails this week and one individual had sent me over 95 emails in one month and it was about nothing, absolutely nothing. But I had to waste my energy and my time to clean that up. So let's be careful how we cast our pearls before swine and how we allow useless chatter and banter and arguing and discussing things that we can't do anything about. Let's be careful about that as we go through life. And one of the best uh, chapters in Psalms, I think, that helps with that. Oh, there's a picture in my Bible of my son when he was little. Um, and I keep lots of pictures in my Bible of people I love and, and pray for them all the time. But let's uh, turn over to Psalms um, uh, 23. And I'm going to read this because this will help us all, I think, when we uh, are under stress, especially in the days that we live in and the way the weather is. Everything is so unpredictable today. But, you know, the scripture and knowing that we have a best friend who walks beside us all the time, which is Jesus Christ, uh, can give us the comfort that we need. But in Psalms 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's just the most beautiful poem I think I've ever read. And I say that a lot when I'm under stress, and I hope maybe you can share this as well. God bless you.